engaging the community since 1970. This is WIS Awareness. Good Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us on Awareness Today. I'm your host, Leland Pinder. And today we are getting psyched with Midlands Tech in 2019. A big conference is coming up and it's all about mental health awareness and addressing those issues in our community. And right now I'm joined this morning by the conference's chairperson. This is Eileen Price, also a Midlands Tech psychology professor. And she's joined by Renee Coltrane, the co-chair of the conference. And I believe a business and human resources professor human service human service director okay <laughs> fantastic great to have you both here this morning Thank thanks for you joining for us, us. Thank absolutely you. so let's talk about this conference uh, real quick of course the the main goal here is to kind of explore the plight of mental health in our community and address these issues surrounding it and reduce the stigma around getting help and addressing it so how does this conference do all those things so the conference um, that we have is two weeks long, as, as you said. It will feature free workshops and seminars for people. And so we plan to have um, everyone register and um, come to the different workshops, as well as we will highlight a photo and audio exhibit. Mm -hmm. And this exhibit is called Fine Line Mental Health Mental illness and it is by Michael Nye and what this audio photo exhibit does is it depicts voices and stories of people who are suffering from mental illness. And talk about that a little more because I think every, well, many people in the community may suffer with this and but no one wants to talk about it sometimes but it's something a lot of us have in common. How do we get past that feeling and wanting to talk about these things out in the open? Well, one of the things that we're trying to, attempting to do with the conference is create dialogue. That's the first step. Um, and so that we can reduce the stigma associated with mental illness. And we feel that when we get engage the community, we're going to involve students, faculty to be involved in this conference so that we can openly discuss the challenges that people have regarding mental illness and also mental health. Um, we feel that through dialogue and open discussion that we hope to you know, reduce the stigma associated with mental illness. So that's a start. And this is your second conference. I know you had your first one last year, but this year is bigger and better. Right. Tell me why. So last year, uh, the focus was different. Last year, it was only a, a couple of days long. And last year, it was a conference for people, students who are interested in the field of psychology, two-year students as well as four-year students. Mm -hmm. Our exhibit last year was from APA, um, American Psychological Association. And that exhibit w was minority women in the field of psychology. This year, we want to focus on the issues, mental health issues, people struggling struggling from mental health issues, where can they go to get resources um, for their struggles. So this is making it aware so that uh, people will be aware of mental illness and how to find help and how to deal with mental illness. So this is for the community. Anyone who would like Absolutely. to come is invited. Mm -hmm. So if people want to want to attend, it's happening for two weeks this year, February 1st to February 13. How do they get involved in the different conferences and workshops happening on those different days? They can go to Midlands Tech Facebook page. The Facebook page will have um, the different workshops. Or you can go to the website, www.midlandstech.edu backslash get psych. And that website will have all the information that you need for the conference. Right. And of course, one of your goals with this conference, and I'm just reading verbatim here from your materials, is to promote the mental health of the community. Mm -hmm. We touched on that already. But talk about how when everyone... Is, is doing well mentally, how that propels society forward, how that propels us as individuals forward in groups, at home, at work, at school, wherever we interact on a daily basis. Okay. So uh, this conference is so important for people because we do understand that there is a need for help for mental health. Um, every day, people that go to work every day uh, may have some form of mental illness. People who are children who are in school um, may have problems with mental health. So we just want to make awareness for mental health. And it is so important because if we have a society that is mentally, mentally, not mentally ill, 
but mentally prepared uh, to work, to mentally prepared to um, do well in school, then we have a society that it's well, and we want everyone in our society to be well. And just a few more seconds here. Talk about uh, how this affects people across the spectrum, different age groups, uh, different races, obviously. How, how does that work? So, well, I, you know, mental illness and the challenges that we have in our community concerning mental illness impacts everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that's specific to a particular race or a particular age. When you think about issues of anxiety uh, that sometimes we have for taking tests, mm -hmm. when you think about individuals who are being bullied today, that impacts mostly our children, or just depression. Uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome um, for our veterans, uh, you know, it just crosses the spectrum in terms of the individuals that are impacted. It's not just a race or age thing. It's just something that impacts all of us as human beings. But of course, that, that's very true. But of course, there is a unique set of circumstances for everybody when they are dealing with this mental health issue. Right. So a quick break here and after the break, we'll talk about that, how it affects the uh, African-American community and some of the challenges that black people face when it comes to this issue. If you believe you have been discriminated against, call the South Carolina Human Affairs Commission at 803-737-7800. Talk to us, report it, and we will investigate it. We prevent and eliminate unlawful discrimination. The service we provide is free. Call us at 803-737-7800 or go to our website at schac.sc.gov. No one wants to be in a car or truck accident. They can lead to large medical bills, physical therapy, surgery, and lost wages. I'm Carl Solomon of the Solomon Law Group and the Legal Minute on WIS. If you've been hurt in an accident, give the Solomon Law Group a call. The best time to hire a lawyer is before you give a statement to an insurance company. Not getting help first makes it harder to get you proper compensation, and the consultation is free. Give us a call, 803-900-9000. The most important meal of the day is rarely perfect. It's not always sunny side up. Sometimes you can't afford to skip it. And sometimes you eat it for dinner. But as long as it's fresh, you're serving it right. That's why at Food Lion, we make fresh food affordable for everyone. Food Lion, how refreshing. If you don't have life insurance, a final expense insurance plan pays cash to your family for final and all other expenses. If you're unable to purchase life insurance due to a pre-existing or current medical condition, call right now for information and a free consultation. Rates will never increase, the policy cannot be canceled, and there are no restrictions on how your beneficiaries can use the money. Call 1-800-304-7014. 1-800-304-7014. Welcome back this morning to Awareness. I'm joined, or we are joined now by Dr. Markeisha Miller, a local psychologist with Holistic Psychological Associates here in Columbia. Got it right. You got it. I <laughs> <laughs> want to bring you into the conversation here. Now, at this conference, Get Psyched with MTC, you're going to have a, well, a portion of it will be uh, specially focused on African Americans and their issues dealing with mental health issues. Mm -hmm. One of those uh, workshops will be a panel discussion entitled Community Mental Health Resources, Stereotypes, Prejudice, and Discrimination with Mental Illness. So I want to start with you, Dr. Miller. Those three things, stereotypes, prejudice, discrimination, how does that impact African Americans when dealing with mental health issues? You know, I, I think it's major because the first thing we have to understand is that one of the reasons that people stay in the closet dealing with mental illness is because of that fear of being discriminated against. And then when you're talking about African Americans, there's already a, a historical discrimination that is already there. And so when you take that and you couple it with mental illness, something 
something that people have not gotten to a comfort level of discussing yet that poses a major sense of discrimination that people may feel um, and people may feel a sense of prejudice as well. So you have to think about how people feel that they're going to be perceived when you're talking about how people actually look at this. You know, being stereotyped, the first thing that people hear when they hear mental illness is crazy. I don't like that word, any, you know, but that's the first thing that people hear. And so when you think about that, all of that couples into this historical sense of stigma, this historical context of discrimination, um, and also this idea that as African Americans, we don't talk about what goes on in our household. And so when there is something going on in our household and we do bring it out, it kind of seems confusing for a lot of people, right? It's kind of like, you got problems? Mm -hmm. Who would think you would have problems and so it's kind of like this hero sense that we have to play and so I think all of that couples into this idea of that stigma that we're working so hard to dispel when you why did you guys want to address have a part of your conference address this specifically so, of course, you have seen on the news um, people who have committed suicide um, and family members not knowing that students, uh, that a student have committed suicide or that their child have committed suicide. So we wanted to have dialogue so that people can understand that they have a mental health and that it's okay to um, have a mental health and be able to go to a place that it's safe for them, that they feel safe, that they can address their issues of mental health. And she's right, in the black community, we do not talk about mental health. Um, if we talk about mental health, we think that people who have mental health, they are crazy, and that's the stereotype mm -hmm. that we have. So I think it's so important to address those issues, so important to uh, delete the word crazy and focus on something positive. Yes. You have a mental illness, but it's not the end of the world. Right. You can get help someplace and you can live a successful life. Absolutely. So I got to ask you about the differentiation um, and your work and research. How do white, the white community, how do they deal with this issue typically among themselves? In a holistic aspect. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's the idea of my practice is that I want people to understand that when we live well, living well is not just your physical, it's your mental and your emotional and so one of the things we've got to get better with the black community is understanding that we're a full vessel. And so that means that just as we take care of our hypertension, just as we make sure that we're going and getting those physical checkups, we have to make sure that we're getting those mental checkups as well. One of the things that we um, recognize more so within the white community is that they understand their therapists, their psychologists, even their psychiatrists is on their list. They're on their checkup list because they understand and they get the fact that they need that resource too. And so we've got to get better within the black community of making sure that people understand that if you're going to live your best life, as we love to say these days, <laughs> part of that is your mental health. Another workshop you guys are going to have at this conference is uh, entitled Gov uh, In the Realm of African Americans Being Affected by This, Government Responses to Mental Health Needs, The Politics of Mental Illness. What does that mean? So the politics of mental illness, so we'll be talking about policies that focus on mental health. Um, when we go vote, um, voting is very important um, and we don't know what the issues are that we are voting. Mm -hmm. And there are policies that focus on mental health and we need to know those policies mm -hmm. yeah. that will focus on mental health. We need to know why we're voting for certain candidates and what do they have to offer to better my life policy wise absolutely and that candidates um, have your best interest at heart um, that's very important because if we are voting for putting people in office who don't have our best interest certainly that needs to be reevaluated so we need to be more informed so that we're making informed decisions as to which candidates support these issues that impact our families mm -hmm. that could lead to another conversation about absolutely. getting involved in voting and registering yeah, and, that kind of right. stuff. <laughs> and educating yourself it does and can I tag yeah. to that I think mm -hmm. also a big piece and I love the fact that they're addressing that because of the idea that I don't think people realize that insurance 
insurance coverage and Mm -hmm. um, like Medicaid and all these various things. And as a practitioner, I see it so often that so much mental health is not covered. And there's so many cuts that are being taken each and every day. Mental health funding is being cut. And so I think this is so important to talk about so that people understand that, I mean, there is a voice that we have to take a political voice in making sure that we are living well and that we understand that we have to make sure that the proper things are in place. I'm glad you mentioned that because I've certainly heard stories about um, whether it's a drug addiction, a whole nother situation or right. mental health issues. People do gather up the courage to open up and talk about it and seek treatment. But a lot of times that has to be paid for, obviously. That's right. That's so right. whatever health insurance or coverage they have only covers it to a certain extent. So some folks take that first step, but they can't they finish the process. And that's the hardest thing, Leland, I think, is telling someone that um, it's this is not covered. Or mm-hmm. unfortunately, your plan does not cover your mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, and so which is the reason why a lot of my colleagues and I end up doing a lot of pro bono work. Because of the fact that when you're talking about you want people to find those resources, it's kind of like you can't lead people to the pond mm-hmm. and get them there and then say, oops, sorry, you can't drink. Um, you right. know, because you want people to have that, that right. life, right? Yeah. And so I think it's important for people to understand and realize um, their policies and understand what's covered and what's not covered. And these ladies are right. A lot of people don't know and they don't realize um, what coverage is for mental health. A lot of other workshops on this topic happening at the conference. And Another one called Sharing Hope, speaking with African Americans about mental health, bridges to treatment. You're going to have a soul food festival. And uh, again, some of the ones you've already spoken about. A very important element to this very broad, wide ranging uh, event you guys will be having here. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Miller, for joining the conversation. You want to stick around? Of course. Hang out. Hang out. (laughs) All right. We'll be right back here on Awareness. You look nice. Getting around isn't as easy as it used to be. That's why we called Bath Fitter. They removed our old tap and installed a beautiful new spacious shower. Now, getting in and out is a breeze. And we have peace of mind with seamless walls that provide a watertight fit, plus their lifetime guarantee. Thanks to Bath Fitter, life is so much easier with the shower we love. Call today or learn more at bathfittersouth.com. Would you settle for a little bit of money? I wouldn't. If you want to get all the money you deserve, call George St. Andrew Lawyers at 803 all nine. They settled my case for three hundred thousand dollars. Just call 803 all nine. WIS loves to share stories of people making a difference, people who work to build a better community. If you know someone who should be highlighted as a community builder, nominate them at wistv.com slash builder. The state's number one truck giant wants to be the number one Jeep giant, too. JT's Jeep Ram in Lexington will do whatever it takes to leave the competition in the dust. Every Jeep slashed up to 35% or more. Like a new Cherokee, just $15,990, zero down. And JT is giving away $25,000 in January. Just come in and register. Seven minutes from anywhere. Whatever it takes. Make JT your January Jeep giant. Come see JT, Highway 378, Lexington. Start something new sales event. It's this year's number one new show. This is going to be one heck of a competition. AGT, the champions. Monday, followed by Manifest on NBC. Tuesday, This Is Us returns. And the story of this family will continue to surprise you. This Is Us returns Tuesday, followed by New Amsterdam on NBC. Welcome back this morning to our discussion about Get Psyched with MTC in 2019, a mental health awareness conference coming up here on February 1st through the 13th. Head to their Facebook page or the website at MTC to learn more about it. But right now, let's get back to our discussion. You guys have several different people, organizations coming in to help with this two-week conference. Tell us more about who's involved. 
So we have Department of Mental Health. We have people, professionals from Department of Mental Health. They'll come in and do some workshop panel discussion. Mm -hmm. We have Mental Health of America. They will come in and do a workshop as well. Um, but different community uh, organization that focuses on mental health, they will be um, at our conference as well as we'll have some expertise from Midlands Technical yeah. College yeah, our <laughs> on our own faculty coming in and giving their expertise on certain workshops. So uh, mm -hmm. several professionals from, the, from our community will be there. Fantastic. Now talk about, you guys have a, a set up here where folks can take different tracks when they come to the conference. Mm -hmm. We got the green track, the red track, and the blue track. Tell us about that. So we have three different tracks when we're looking at workshop. Mm -hmm. The first track is called the green track. That track will focus on mental health today. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in going into workshops, going to the workshops that will focus on that, you're looking at politics in mental health. You're looking at how it impacts our society, economic impact. Um, we also have the second track. The second track explores healthy mind. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at treating and diagnosing people with mental disorder, the different disorder and the treatments that are necessary. So we're looking at art therapy mm -hmm. um, for um, as a treatment for mental health. Um, we're also looking at children in mental health. Uh, we have many children that suffer from mental health and we have uh, professionals that will come in and talk about how you can help children with mental health. The last track is taking action. Mm -hmm. Taking action is focusing on training. Um, it's focusing on CEUs. So we'll have different trainings. You can get certificate for suicide prevention, um, mm -hmm. how to identify someone that is suicidal. So we'll have those types of um, those types of training that you will be able to get CEUs from. And I want to ask you, are people who um, maybe they don't have mental illness themselves, but they might know someone that does or uh, maybe question if they know someone that does. They have possible curiosity. Is this for those people as well? Yes. Like kind of see the yes. signs and what? Yes. Okay. Yes. And we also have a workshop that will focus on loved ones taking care of um, the mentally ill. And that is so important because mm -hmm. we have many people that are loved ones that are taking care of people mm -hmm. with mental illness. So we will have a workshop. That's that Healthy Mind. That's one of the workshops for Healthy Mind where you can hear uh, a support group talk about living with someone that has mental illness. Do you see that in your office at all, Dr. Miller? Family members or friends? Oftentimes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and burnout is so significant among caregivers. And so we often talk about, as a caregiver, how it's important for you um, to know how to cope, how to deal. Um, it's an emotional stressor for a lot oh, of yes. family members mm -hmm. who are dealing with mental illness within their family. And then also, as you identify the signs and symptoms. It's so important to know because many times I get calls and people are just saying, I think something is wrong, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. You know, and people will self-diagnose this these days. We know this, right? Yes. And so <laughs> with that being the case, you know, it's so important for people to really identify the signs and the symptoms. One of the things we know is that we're, we are a very reactive society. And I love this because this is a proactive stance. And so this means that now we can learn the signs, learn the symptoms, know the resources, so we don't have to wait till the big stories are reported, and then we have to go and dissect where the mental illness could have been, um, but it's an idea to see and know, so definitely. Now, this is a really big undertaking for you all. Again, it's much bigger this year than last year. Yes. Uh, tell me how you got the money together, who helped you put this on, how did it all come together? Okay. Well, um, what we did was... Um, we knew we wanted the college community involved through our students and faculty, but, but the emphasis this year was to focus a little bit more on other agencies to partner with them and to get more of the community. In other words, we want just the average neighbor to come and attend this conference mm -hmm. and, and, and just have dialogue again through a multidisciplinary uh, approach to get people to just start talking about these issues. They're real, they're prevalent here mm -hmm. in South Carolina. And so I want to say at this time too, we want to thank the South Carolina Humanities because Eileen, myself, and um, 
Alice Appleby, who's uh, staff at Midlands Tech, we wrote a grant and they granted us to help us put this event in place. Mm -hmm. And we're really happy about that. And so placing emphasis again on the community at large. We just didn't want it just for faculty and students, but that everyone can come. And it's free. Mm -hmm. We don't charge for any of the workshops. And mm -hmm. we just wanted everyone to come out and uh, take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to forget about our family, Midlands Technical College, because Midlands Technical College Foundation also gave us a grant. So we, um, we have a grant from South Carolina Humanity and uh, also from Midlands Technical College That's Foundation. Right. So we just want to make sure, and we've partnered with the different yeah. agencies that focus on mental health just to help us make this event a successful Success. event. All right, a, a lot of different people and agencies and, and folks partnering together to bring this to the community for the second year mm -hmm. in a row. And I wish you much success, and I'm sure it's going to be a great time. Well, and you. people will learn a lot, I'm sure thank of it. You. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you there. Uh, hey, I'll be there. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, another quick break here this morning, uh, right back here on Aware. <laughs> Hello folks, I'm Rosalie Michaels, and I'm here with former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Danny White, and we're talking about home safety. Thanks so much for coming in, Danny. Thanks for inviting me. I heard that you've been working to come up with an offer to help people protect their homes. Is that right? That's right. Our mission is to ensure that everyone receives the protection that they need. So we're offering a brand new home security system, $850 value, free of charge. And it's kind of hard to beat free. <laughs> so tell us about monitoring. Well, you get 24-7 monitoring for burglar, fire, and medical emergencies from ADT, the number one home security company in America. And monitoring is about a dollar a day. There's no better investment you can make for the things that matter most. The first 20 callers to order will receive a $100 Visa gift card plus two wireless keychain remotes free of charge. So call now and we'll help you protect your home. To get this special offer, call 844-644 4713. That's 844 644 4713. No one wants to be in a car or truck accident. They can lead to large medical bills, physical therapy, surgery, and lost wages. I'm Carl Solomon of the Solomon Law Group and the Legal Minute on WIS. If you've been hurt in an accident, give the Solomon Law Group a call. The best time to hire a lawyer is before you give a statement to an insurance company. Not getting help first makes it harder to get you proper compensation, and the consultation is free. Give us a call, 803-900-9000. Unlevel floors, cracked bricks, sticking doors and windows, these are all signs that your home is sinking and you may not even know it. A home is only as good as the foundation it's built on, and these problems always get worse. Protect your greatest asset and call Mount Valley Foundation Services today. Our team gets it right the first time and has provided permanent solutions to over 70,000 homeowners. Every job we do starts with a free estimate and comes with a transferable long-term warranty. That's the Mount Valley Promise. Welcome back. A quick recap of what's going to be happening at Get Psyched with MTC 2019. So we'll have the photo audio exhibit, Michael Nye, and it's called Fine Line Mental Health, Mental Illness. We'll also have workshops with the different workshops with the different tracks. And we've talked about those tracks, green track, red, blue track, and red track. And I would just like to thank our MTC Midlands Tech family, the South Carolina Humanities for our grant and the foundations for supporting us. All right, fantastic. And thank you all for being here. Dr. My Miller, pleasure. thank you as well. It's always, always good to see you. And thank you for watching this morning on WIS Awareness. We'll see you next Sunday. We're back for the